Okay, what exactly are we doing here? What we're gonna do is show you, and we do it for teens and family, that you can't text and drive, no matter how good you think you are, and you sure can't drive under the influence of drug or alcohol. So we're gonna put you behind the wheel and show with fatal vision goggles that the wheels are gonna fall off. You can't drive it. And so we're teaching that to teens so that we get them before, before it becomes a bad habit. But you know, what happens if they're really good at it? You're not going to be good at it. What happens if they are good at it? If they're good at it, they got a problem. They got a problem. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Chafin, you should be here. Prove them wrong. <laughs> you ready? Okay, let's bail in this. Okay, jump in. I've done a lot of things in my life, but this is interesting. Hey. So I'm a retired law enforcement. So just to let you know. I'm already almost in jail already. <laughs> Super rare. Okay. Okay. Seatbelt on. <laughs> Seatbelt on. This is going to be very interesting. So, so what, what, what are these? Let's take a look at these. Fatal vision goggles. Now, what exactly? That is going to simulate <laughs> driving while under the influence of drug and alcohol. Have you ever been there before? Well, I've been pissed lots and <laughs> don't like nothing like this. <laughs> like you're all f***ed up like a hoagie's goat. Whatever s*** you're trying to simulate, I know a couple guys that buy some off you. That's good stuff. Put these on. Well, that one there, you're not going anywhere. So, Put that on. That is straight alcohol. I feel like Mike. <laughs> <laughs> as long as you don't eat any crayons out of the ashtray. Right hey, I tell you what, he ate a crayon, a little timber marking crayon. <laughs> they may be in a bug later. <laughs> I saw that one. Okay, let's put them on, Avery, and let's go. And what we're going to try and do, a nice, clean, smooth, steady pace lap. Ready? Both eyes open, no cheat. <laughs> You're in company. <laughs> you can see out of one eye. No cheat. Okay, let's do it. Pass the Bacardi. Both eyes open, buddy. They are open. <laughs> Blue stop sign. Where? Right there. I'm all up here. How's he doing? How's he doing? There. 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 <laughs> well, I didn't think we had to stop for stop signs. <laughs> Alberta. He's coming. Huh. He's coming. Oh, it runs okay, up. stop. Stop. Let's take the glasses off. <laughs> well, where am I okay, supposed to be? You know what? That was too good. Seriously? You got, yeah, you got you and me gonna have to have a chat later. <laughs> well I didn't know I was supposed to stop or how to stop. You got a cell phone handy? Nine, get filmed by it. Okay. I'm going to give you, let's okay. pull up where we started, Avery. Mr. Totoy. 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 Mr. So, I, here, how did I, I, really honestly, I didn't see that stop sign, so we can't count that. Other than that stop sign, how did I do? <laughs> no, no. What's the matter? Is that bad or good? No, is that bad? Is that bad? We're going to do texting and driving, and we're going to see how well, you I can't get. spell. That doesn't matter. Okay, let's start driving. Okay, go into safari, pull up. Let's start driving. Pull hang up. On, hang on, wait till I get in there. Okay, where, where are we texting here? We're, we're going to pull up Honolulu's forecast, weather forecast for next Thursday. Where where am I, where am I doing this Let's at? go. We're going to do the same thing. Right now? Right now. Yep. Well, see, I can't spell. So this is how I okay, would Okay, I'll help you. H? Hello, Lulu, forecast. <laughs> don't, it says don't enable dictation. <laughs> no. Okay, Honolulu. How do you spell it? H-O-N-A. 
L U L U L what L what L U L U L U yeah L U L U now see what the forecast is for Surge. Honolulu yeah sir uh, Honolulu yeah Honolulu Hawaii forecast was taking too goddamn long well, that's the whole that's the whole point of it does it happen real quick. So Honolulu, Hawaii. What do you do that stop sign? I don't like that stop sign. <laughs> he missed both of them. <laughs> Honolulu, Hawaii. Hurry up. We got to get going. On Honolulu, Hawaii. It helps. There we go. Oh, okay. And stop. <laughs> he's, he's, he's on Amazon. Well, there's no goddamn cars coming. Why would you want to stop no cars coming? So... Were you distracted? Were you paying attention to the course? Honestly. I was paying attention to the course. And trying to do two things at the same time. Can you multitask? And I've seen you do work. You cannot multitask. What are you doing? You're splitting time a few seconds. I will tell you right now, it don't matter how good I try to look at this, you should not text and drive because you will have a colossal f up. That's right. And that, I tell you what, you will. You and will. That, and that, I tell you what, without even a question, is all I can say, I think you're better off drinking and driving than texting and driving, to be honest with you. Both, yeah. <laughs> texting and driving now, Avery's surpassed it's impaired driving. Impaired drive, at least you can pretend you know where you're going. Uh, you're not looking at the road. Impaired drive, at least you can see something trying to swerve out of the way. Again, what are you doing? You're focusing, if you're impaired, the people who are driving impaired are driving super slow all over the road, well, right? You don't bend none of my friends. <laughs> <laughs> I've been, like I said, I've been a policeman for 25 years. I, I've seen it all. What happens is, with texting and driving, what you're doing is you're not multitasking, you're splitting time, right? So if your head is down, you're doing 110K on the highway. You've traveled further from here to that building My friend, without your eyes. We'll go a different direction with this. Yep. It is like somebody that's allowed to have their telephone at work and they're working and try to do a job at work and they have their telephone with them. They're on the phone, they're arguing with their old lady or talking about going and getting drunk or looking at a vehicle to buy and they're trying to do a job and it ain't gonna happen. That's As right. you said before, because their 100% of their attention is not what they're doing. Exactly. You're gonna have a come apart. Yep, exactly. Yeah, you're setting the valves on a motor. If you're not paying attention and you're talking on the phone, you'll never do it. You'll never do it. No, that's you'll why you'll forget one syllable. That's why when something important, they put little paint marks on them. Yep, so you know right. you've been there. Yep, but done that. Touch that. Yeah. In there. Okay, let's pull up and stop. You obviously haven't seen my driving record. I don't know if it will. I told you what. It'll take you a while to read it. It's five full pages. <laughs> Does that make you a better driver or a worse driver? Yeah. Perfect. Right here. Right here. Right here. Yeah. Good. How did I do though with the drunken driving? You know what? You and me gotta have a chat. How did I do with the drunken driving? You know what? You did better than you did when you texted. <laughs> Put it that way. I, but I'll tell you one thing. I don't drink and drive. Good. I have something that I have when I was younger in the younger days. Whatever, we're not going down that road, but I tell you what, as we get older, we get a little bit slower, and I tell you what, I am quite actually against texting and driving. We've got to ride with Mike, and Mike's a horrible texter and driver, and he almost kills us. It got so bad one day that we threw his phone out the window. Yeah. Yeah, and then we had to go back and look for his phone for an hour, but yeah, yeah. I tell you what, it's I, dangerous. I, you know what? It's incredibly dangerous. You think you're in, you're not in control of nothing. Like I say, I'd rather be intoxicated than drink other than texting and driving. But I did pretty good drunk and driving, eh? You did adequate. <laughs> <laughs> and so tell me a little bit about this course. What exactly is this just to show awareness of what? Yeah, hundred percent Avery, it's designed to show teens and families that and we just saw it with you, with the texting and driving and the impaired and driving. It can't be done safely. So right over there is a race car. Do we race in a race car when we've had a sh couple of shots of tequila or, or something on our mind? No, it's no different when you're behind. Yeah, I tell you what, as smart asses as smart ass as I want to be, you know what it is. Uh, you know we've all got away with. Sh we should have never done, but as we get older and take a look at it, we go, you know, we shouldn't be doing that anymore. That's right. So I tell you what, stop doing it. Okay, but you still say that I'm able to drink and drive not bad yeah, though. Yeah, we're eh? going to have a drink. <laughs>